we have a guy on our team. No, no, he, he actually watches the show. Pat Wax Daddy is his, his screen name. Okay, all right. We, or Goat Belly, we goat call belly. it. Hey, goat Belly. Goat Belly! All right. So, goat, the re- how he got Goat Belly, <laughs> he could eat anything. And he had a bulge of a gut. For PT tests back then, you had to do a tape test. All right. Goat would just blow his out of proportion. <laughs> yeah. We it's have like, to get creative. okay, how can you get such a good PT to score and you look like a weeble? <laughs> Yeah, the dude, the dude was pretty good. Oh, he was very mission driven. He's a f- genius. He's a genius. He's an inventor. He invented the world's first folding motorcycle that weighs less than sixty-seven pounds. I saw it with my own eyes. Oh, yes, yeah. and it a has genius. a hybrid motor to it. It's a phenomenal creation. He can't get anybody on the project to fund it. Yeah, he can't get any first. First, uh... and this is where he made it. He had a guy in Afghanistan weld the frame together with a car battery and a coat hanger. He draw he brings this stuff out of his out of mind. I just helped him move from Texas or from Florida to Texas. Okay. He's very, you know, okay, Texas is going to be the only standing part of America that's going to be left until they just completely tack nuke Texas. Yeah. Okay. But besides that, the man has a mind and he just can just just draw these wild creations out of out of his ass. I've seen him do it. He like yes. pulls out the pen. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Well, we could do this. Well, when he was over, when he was in Afghanistan, he was uh, well, the hang longest. On, hang, hang on, hang on. Yeah. Now, the guys that were in my platoon, I didn't just like train them because let's face it, you train dogs and monkeys. I forged men, yeah. men who later on went on to do great. F- Things he went on to be, you became what a crew chief on the C one thirty. I was a load master. Your load master. Yes. Well, a Walker went on to. He the was. Air Force. Uh, he went. Uh, weather he went flight. Air Force Special Operations. He went uh, weather. He was a weather. weather flight guy. So he became a meteorologist for the Air Force. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. After he did ten year or ten years in the Army system, he's just like, you know, I f- this. I'm going to the Air Force. <laughs> and he fucking blew it out of water. <laughs> well, the man. This is the way he operates. As a civilian. He hates it. But when he's in the war zone... He's at home. He is at home, and he really owns it. He's dialed in, man. Okay, he would essentially... We would talk... We still talk a lot on the phone. I love that guy. Hey, Walker, if you're watching, you're a good motherfucker. And Goat, Goat Belly, he would talk about his adventures. Walker is... He can sew anything. Not in a gay way. Not in a gay way. (laughs) He was actually... Let me just knit this when up he was a little in, bit. I'll make you a sweater. Yes, something he, to hold all your starburst. When he was in Afghanistan, he would literally um, create gear for the special operations custom. team. Custom gear. Literally leaving bags at his door. He never charged them a dime. Okay. And on top of that, every military in their unit, squad, platoon, has a scrounger. Oh, yeah. He was a, He a was the king rat. of scroungers. Now, this is coming from him, so I can't necessarily verify the information. It was like this. This be- hands shake, hands scratch backs, whatever. Well, this one particular E7, E8. Now, I know Goat Bell is going to correct me, but... Foot Locker just, of Porn. Yeah, so... <laughs> oh, yeah, the Foot Locker no, of no. Porn. No, I, I traded... I learned a lot of that while well, I was a pack That was rat. the commo section. No, no, hang on. In Iraq. Yeah. We had to get, we had to take, I think it was like half a dozen up armors to get their brakes worked. Yes. We take them to victory. Mm-hmm. They go to the board, they put it on there, and I go, How long is it going to take? He's like, uh, Two and a half months. I'm like, That's unacceptable. And I start haggling with the guy yeah. and going down the list of shit I have because, you know, I had a whole like supply room of shit that was just extra. Yeah. So I, I literally try everything. I'm, I have nothing left. I'm like, Well, you know, I got this foot locker of confiscated porn. It's a lot of nasty stuff in there. <laughs> Combo had, had the best porn. And literally, the guy's like, <laughs> German porn, scat porn? Yes. It, and he's like, wait a minute. And he goes, he talks to a bunch of mechanics, Yeah. comes back, he goes, bring it tomorrow, we'll take a look at it. Next day, I went from two and a half months to like l- a little over a, like a week and a day, eight days. <laughs> yeah. It was all, amazing. All because a bunch of dudes wanted to watch women taking a dump. Well. Well, I confiscated all that porn. Yeah, <laughs> I know you did. I'm, to, I'm just saying. To finish Walker's crowning achievements, he was like any scrounger as they leave, an oncoming scrounger comes in. So it's kind of like an informal change of command ceremony. I know. You got well, anyways, you got the this handle. particular this particular NCO needed a cement pad poured within a day for an expansion of his 
for the equipment that he needed. Well, Walker then negotiates the deal. So he goes, talks to the engineers. And so they, they said, well, we can't do it unless you bring us lo- no lobster tails. Now, this is Bagram, uh-huh. mind you. <laughs> so what does Walker do? I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> so he basically pulled a Radar O'Reilly. In less than an hour, he had one of those wax boxes, ice with, with at least a dozen red lobster tails. Ah. And so I guess, and Walker tells me the story. I'm like, okay, fine. But it, the expression on their face was like, I guess we got to pour the concrete, damn it. <laughs> 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 so, but Walker would work with a lot of the special operations teams and his only billing was, hey, do I get to train with you? That's all he wanted to do was train with the special op guys, be it range, fast rope. That's, that's fun, bro. Yeah. Okay. So that is a very negotiable it's a very good one. Doesn't cost you nothing. Doesn't cost you a damn. Nothing. You just got to write him on the on the roster. But Walker became so famous with what he was doing that this one general listed Walker by name on the TONE. Call says, backed. I will not. I refuse to deploy without Pat Walker. Yeah, call backed. He got yeah. he got he got he got requested by name request by a general. You don't get that. Yeah, general is the closest thing that we have to like royalty. Yes. Those. Like write their own regulations. They make memos that are the have the equivalent of pretty much a regulation. Yeah. I mean, I used to carry the the Green Beret thing when I was in civil affairs. It mm-hmm. says, as a special forces guy in civil affairs, you can wear your Green Beret. Yeah. And because I got all kinds of sh- you're not allowed to wear that now. Oh, I can't wear it here. <laughs> got a general here says I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Watch Grunt Speak Live Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern, and we'll do the same thing we do every night. Try to take over the world. Nah, 